All right, guys. So in this video, we are doing the $10 Walmart fishing challenge. So pretty much the rules of this challenge are: you get $10, you go get your base from Walmart, and you see what you can catch fish with. Uh, most people, when they do these challenges, they give themselves $25 and try to get a rod and line and everything. But we just had $10 and just got the bait. So we used our own rods. The first bait that I got with my $10 is this $1 buzz bait. And pretty much how I would throw this is I would, it's pretty much as simple as it can get. Just throw it out there, reel it, and let the blade on the top spin above the top of the water. And you can see it because of the lamp, you can see it flickering. That will attract the bass and so will the sound on top of the water. So that's bait number one down. Bait number two is this red and white shad color looking spinner bait. And uh, pretty much how I throw this is pretty much the same thing is throw it way out there as far as you can get it out and just reel it but not on top of the water. Just like probably I don't know depending on how deep the water is that's how deep you would have to let it go. And then pretty much that skirt just pops along in the water and it also it, it makes it look like a shad and then that top spoon will make it it'll make the noises and it'll rattle against this bottom spoon and then it'll shine too just like the last one and I've got this rigged up on my spinning rod which I don't use very often so it's kind of dirty and trash but yeah I have that rigged up on my spinning rod then on my bait casting rod, I have where'd the bag go? There it is. I have swimming dingers. And I've cut this one because I don't know if the bass are gonna be big enough out there to eat a whole swimming dinger. But or even a whole Senko for that matter. But I cut it pretty much in half. And it looks kinda nasty right there, but yeah, and uh, Texas rigged it. And then you just swim it. You just throw it out there and reel in. Pretty much, yeah, they're all really simple baits to use. These bass aren't very hard to catch out here where we're going. And, uh, yeah, these are in, what is this? Great, yeah, it's green pumpkin. Five inch swimming dingers. And then, yeah, that's all I got. So, we're going to head out to the water tomorrow, and we'll see how it happens. Bubba got the first bass for the uh, $10 Walmart fishing challenge. He got it on this little Berkeley swim bait down here. We'll get a release on this guy. Uh, yeah. There he goes. Bubba got another one on this little, little uh, this, uh, Berkeley swim bait. Take this swim bait out. These are just a little dinks out in this pond, but uh, they're still fun to catch. Apparently, I can't even get a swim bait out of his mouth. There we go. Just another little dink, but uh, still fun to catch. him down here. Uh, that's the wrong way, dude. So it's two days after we filmed the actual fish catching thing. Done edited that part. Gonna put this part into the video. But I decided to show y'all the baits that my brother caught them on and I didn't. So. I was using the swimming dinger, which in the beginning of the video I showed y'all how to rig up. So you know that I was using that, and that it didn't work. My brother, on the other hand, caught two fish with the power bait, swim bait, by Berkeley, and fire tiger color. So that was pretty cool. I stole one of them. All right, so that's about it, guys. I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay outdoors.